Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about our hearts. What things make your heart happy? Maybe it's spending time with your friends or when you spend time outside. Getting good grades in school might make your heart happy too. But we also experience being sad and having sad hearts. Like when my friend moved away when I was younger. We always hung out together, ate lunch together, we even went on trips together. But her family moved to another state and now we don't get to see each other often. It made my heart grieve. Grieving is when your heart is sad for a long time. It's when something sad happens that makes a big difference in your life and it takes a long time to get better. It's a big word for when you're really sad. Today we're learning about how Jesus heals our hearts when we're really sad. When something small happens that makes us sad, like if we had plans to go to the movies and they had to be canceled for some reason, we get better very quickly. But when we're grieving and something hurts us a lot, we need Jesus to pull us back up. Maybe a pet or a family member passed away. We get really sad and it's hard to feel better. We need Jesus to walk with us through the pain and heal our heart. Jesus heals my heart. Let's say that together. Jesus heals my heart. There's a story in the Bible about people who were really sad and grieving the loss of someone they loved. But Jesus healed their grieving hearts. Let's read it in John 11, 33-39 and 43-44 in the New Testament. This story starts with Mary and Martha's brother Lazarus being super sick and then passing away. They were so sad about it, but let's see what Jesus does to help them. Let's read this true story. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him, and he was deeply troubled. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. Even Jesus was grieving. Lazarus was one of his closest friends. The word wept means to cry. Jesus cried with everyone else. Jesus grieves with us. He understands how you feel when you're hurt and sad. You are never alone because Jesus is with you in the good times and the bad times. Who do you think Jesus could ask for help with his sad heart? God. Let's see what happens next. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him. But some said, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Mary and Martha were grieving because they loved their brother very much and they were sad they had lost him. Jesus cried with Mary and Martha, even though he knew he would heal their hearts. Even when we are sad, you can still have faith in Jesus. How do you think Jesus is going to heal their hearts? Let's read. Jesus was still angry as he arrived at the tomb, a cave with a stone rolled across its entrance. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes, his face wrapped in a head cloth. Jesus told him, unwrap him and let him go. Wow, Jesus healed Lazarus. Jesus healed their sad hearts. Jesus knows how we feel and he can heal you. It's so important for us to remember that we are not alone. Jesus is always with you. Jesus wants to heal your heart and make you feel better. Sometimes we might feel hopeless, but Jesus gives us hope and joy. We can talk to Jesus and just tell him that we're feeling sad. We can pray a simple prayer like, Dear Jesus, I'm feeling sad and need your strength to heal my sad heart. Jesus heals my heart. Let's say that together. Jesus heals my heart. Let's practice our memory verse. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Let's say it one more time. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Just like our verse says, we will have trials and sorrows. We will have times where things make us really sad, but we can have hope because Jesus overcame and he is always with us. Jesus heals us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for always being with us and sending Jesus who understands how we feel. Thank you, Jesus, for walking with us no matter how we are feeling. We ask that you would give us your peace and your hope. In Jesus' name, amen.